blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure port security using cisco packet trace okay so uh before we go further i'll open my, our google spreadsheet and let you know that today we are in number 16 right all right okay so before we go into the configuration part it's very very important that we learn or we understand what port security uh means okay so i'll open um ppt and read a uh, few things about port security so we see that by default all interfaces in a cisco switch are turned on so uh, that means an attacker can just come or a hacker can come uh, the hacker can come and plug their pc to any port on the walls because the ports on the wall connect to the switch okay and they can compromise the network so to prevent this we can implement port security to uh, to curb or to deter those unauthorized uh, users from accessing this port okay all right so we learned that there are two ways through this uh, this one can happen we can limit the number of mac addresses that are mac addresses in a single port or another way we see that if an author is accessed observed the, tra the traffic should be discarded okay All right the traffic will be blocked it will not be uh, sent uh, to the destination right okay so we, we see that switches learn mac addresses when the frame is forwarded through a switch port okay so so uh then um by the, by using a port security a user can limit the number of mac addresses that can be learned to a port through the following ways so we can limit the number of mac addresses that can be learned uh through a port through these ways we can manually limit it or we automatically limit it when we do that we when we manually limit it it's called uh, it's called setting a static mac addresses but when we do it dynamically or a uh, kind of automatic way we use a command that's called stick okay so this is a sample way to configure port security it's very very simple just enter a, a, an interface you make it an access port then then you enable uh, switch port security on that port then you specify the maximum number of devices that you want to access that spe specific for port okay then this way you give the mac address of that device that you want it to access that port okay then you give the violation mode very very simple okay we say that you can give the mac address either dynamically or manually okay all right so i will go back to our packet tracer so that we can start a uh, configuration part okay all right so i'll open our notepad as our culture we guide the we read the guiding steps on the notepad so the first step is always to draw the necessary topology decorate and comment second step is to configure ip address to all the pcs i've done all of that you can see all of these computers are having specific ip addresses you can see 1.5 exact exact okay okay so i'll open this again so step three identify ports to configure port security the maximum of device per port a uh, violation mode and method of obtaining mac address so when you i've already done that i've already i've already given that command also so for these two devices we want to have a port security with the violation mode of shutdown mac address to be obtained through sticky command which means uh it's a it's a, a dynamic or automatic method of obtaining mac address okay and we want each port to have only one device okay all right so when you go to the second category here the port security will apply with the violation mode of fresh street okay then mac address still remains sticky but the maximum number of devices per port we want to them to be two so for example this port here should should only be able to obtain access or allow only two devices to connect to it okay and finally on this the, the last category here the port the port security will have a violation, a violation mode of protect then the mac address will be obtained through manual okay static then maximum number of devices per port will be one okay okay all right so let's go to number four 
Okay, so configure first batch with port security evaluation mode of shutdown, one device per port, and method of obtaining my card is to be sticky. Very, very simple, guys. So the first thing that you have to do, you have to identify these interfaces. So this is uh, FA01 and this is FA02. So you just go to that switch, come to CLI, and you say enable uh, config T and interface range because there are two and you want to configure the same parameter uh to two fa0 slash two slash one to two and you hit enter we just say switch port mode the first thing you have to make these ports to be access ports switch port mode access okay then enable switch port security on this interface so you just say switch port uh port port uh, security and you hit enter Okay, and we've been told that this patch should only allow one one device per port. One device per port. So you just say switch port, uh, switch port port security maximum to be maximum, maximum to be only one device per port. Okay, so FA01 will take only one device, FA02 will take only one device. Okay, and you hit enter. Okay, after that. The method of obtaining a MAC address should be sticky command. So just say switch port port security MAC address. Okay. Very, very simple. Switch port port security MAC address to be sticky. Okay. And to eat enter. Then finally, the violation mode. Don't forget the violation mode. You just say switch port port security uh, port security to be uh we just say violation to be uh shut down if i try to query the violation that are available here we'll see we have protect restrict and shutdown that now we want to use shutdown and you eat it guys very very simple very very simple let's exit right so let's go number five configure second batch with the port security violation mode of restrict Two devices per port and the method of obtaining marker is to be sticky still. So the second batch here is this port, which is a uh, FA0 slash 3, FA0 slash 4. Very simple. So you just go here and say interface range FA0 slash 3 to 4. Oops. Range. Switch port mode. Access. Then switch port. Port security then switch port port security maximum number of devices to be two now because here two devices per port so each port will have two devices to connect to it okay maximum to be only two okay maximum number of uh, devices to be two then switch port port security then we say switch port port security mac address to be obtained through sticky command still okay and you hit enter then finally switch port uh, try to retrieve it up. Oh, okay, so it's port port security violation to be restrict And it enter we exit Very simple and when you go when we go to the sixth uh, Sixth uh, step configure third batch with port security violation mode of protect one device per port and method of training mark address to be manual Okay, all right so this is the third batch. It's only one device. So I didn't want to include a lot of devices here because it's a manual way. Manual ways normally consume a lot of time. So it's FA0-5 interface FA0-5. Okay. Then make the switch uh, to be access. Make the port to be access uh, port. Okay. Then switch port. Port security. Uh, you enable it first. Then you say switch port port security maximum number of devices to be uh one okay then switch port port security we say uh method of obtaining mac address mac address to mac address to be you see there are two methods sticky or the manual way you either use sticky or the manual way so we are going to use the manual way you just go to this pc here and you take the MAC address from there. How do you take the MAC address? Just come to config, 
and uh just yes, sorry uh where do we get the mark address come to fa0 uh faster than zero okay and here is the mark address okay i copy it then when i come to this switch i just paste it there see and i enter exit oh sorry we've not given the uh, violation mode we just say switch port port security viola violation to be uh protect the tender exit and if i can just say do show start first oh do right then do show start so you can see uh fa1 and fa2 port uh port security then mac address sticky uh maximum number of device uh, is one by default so uh fa3 and fa4 you can see mark um maximum number of devices are two and uh violation is i mean violation mode is restrict here method of obtaining is sticky so here didn't sh didn't show uh the violation mode because the violation mode of shutdown is by default so it doesn't need to show it uh, uh there because it's always by default then finally we had this which was of uh, the manual configuration of uh, uh, MAC addresses. You can see this is a MAC address of this computer. Okay, all right. So another command that we can use here is just to uh, end and show um, port security. So show port security interfaces. Yeah. Oh, sorry interface arrow sorry sorry just, let's just say do show show port security that okay you will see that f1 and f2 they have shut down okay as a uh, violation mode okay and um you can see the maximum number of devices that can access this port is one one okay but if it's three and if it's four the maximum number of devices that can access that port are two and the evaluation mode is uh, restrict then finally if five protect and one device okay all right so we want to test the first thing that uh oh no let's go to step seven first test ping and bring aka pc and plug it to any port configured to access only one device the the ports that are configured to access only one device are this port this port i mean this port this port and this port you can remember these two ports were configured to uh, access uh, two devices so it will not bring a good results when we test because uh, the aka pc will hack as this one device okay all right so let's we will test with the, the ones that are accessing only one one what one device so we need to ping first okay so that this switch here can learn the mac addresses of this all of these computers we need to ping first okay no worry because you can just say show uh, show mac address table mac address table you can see we only have one one device okay all right so we need to have all, all of these devices so i'll go, just go to this pc here and try to ping ping uh one and two good that's all so i've made uh i've pinged all of this pc and they have replied so this which basically has known that as a as a identifier that there are other devices that have um, reach, tried to reach each other okay so if i can just say show uh marker test again you can see all of this all of the devices are now here okay all right so remember this port was configured to access only one one device which is this one okay so i'll try to modify let's say i'll go here and copy this ip address okay i'll copy this ip address and i plug out that port here from that pc remember it's still remaining a phase 05 on that side then i plug it in here i will wait until this one turns uh, green then try to ping okay so uh did i really configure ip address to this switch here i'm um, a computer well, let me just uh, do that ip address okay good so i want to try to ping any of these pieces here okay so i'll try to ping even this computer okay 
So ping uh, dot four now. It will never it will never ping. Why? Because uh, it's blocked by default. Any other device apart from this one is blocked by default. Okay. All right. So thank you so much, guys. I'll go back to our uh, Google spreadsheet and mark post security as done. So we will finally do SL for V2I. Then we move to uh, routing technologies. Right. So thank you so much. And I believe this video has really helped you now to configure port security. Post like this video, please like my video, share with friend, provide a comment below, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, and let's see you again in the next class. Bye.